Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla and I want to say thank you for stopping by for a visit today. And I also want to say welcome back to my yarn tube and I'll have a lot of new yarn friends and I want to say welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I hope that you find some content that you enjoy. And just to tell you a little bit about my channel, it's about yarn, and it's about crocheting, and it's about my life. So I do share and ramble, and you never know what I'm going to talk about. Um, I talk about things other than crochet, so just be forewarned that um, we're real friendly here, we're real personable, and we are like family, okay? I tell you what's going on in my life, and you tell me what's going on in your life. <laughs> That's the way we roll here on Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. Anyway, guys, so today is a Whip Wednesday. I hope you're all having a great Wednesday. I hope you're all just working on a whip and that you have success in getting it done. I started a new whip. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> so you can tell me below what you are working on, and I'm going to share with you what I'm working on today. <clears throat> so I told y'all Monday I stopped by um, our Ag Center and the Agricultural Center and uh, picked up a fair, a book for our fair entries. So this book, um, you can see, I'll just show you like, um, it's a, it's more than a pamphlet, but anyway, it's, it's got a lot of pages in there. I don't think the pages are numbered. Yeah, they are. Huh. I never noticed it. It's 48 pages. So it tells different age groups. Um, used to, they not, well, wasn't added and divided into age groups. And a few years back, about the times my kids were graduating high school, they ended up um, doing, separating to age groups and such. And so I'm in the over 18 but under 65 category. So there's a lot of people in my category. <laughs> it's a big age difference. <clears throat> but anyway, um, this is the Arklamis Agricultural and Industrial, Industrial Fair. Um, our fair will be here September the 30th through October the 9th. And I will be entering some projects into the fair. And so it says here that I can enter projects on October the 1st and October the 2nd. That's a Saturday and Sunday. And we always wait till Sunday afternoon to enter our projects. So I will be going that Sunday, October the 7th. No, October the 2nd. I can't really. I, can't. <laughs> I knew I said the 2nd, but then it looked like a 7. Anyway, we can go from 12 to 6 p.m. So we'll probably go sometime during that time slot and enter the things into my fair so i've marked um where my age category begins there is like a whole list of stuff for sewing but i don't sew i have a sewing machine but it never runs correctly like i just cannot get the thing to work right and my son dakota messes around with it sometimes for me and like he gets it to run in and then you know like I start a project and then it stops working correctly again so I just do not have luck with sewing machine matter of fact I had a sewing machine and we could not get it to work right me and Dakota fought with that sewing machine because he had something he wanted to make he actually wanted to make a quilt and um, we just could not get that sewing machine to cooperate with us so he decided he was going to buy me a new sewing machine. I think it might have been for Mother's Day or something. And the sewing machine I had was not old. But he said, we can't figure it out. Let's just buy another one. So he bought me a sewing machine for Mother's Day one year. This has been like several years back. Well, I don't know if we ever even finished a whole project with the sewing machine. And we cannot get it to work correctly. <laughs> and I had a friend to come over at one time. And she doesn't even live in Louisiana anymore. And she worked on it and figured out something and fixed that part. And then we were back in the same boat. We just could not. We can't get it to work correctly. So, anyway, I'm out for that category. And there's a lot of things. There's a whole list. Like for sewing, 
it starts on this page and it goes all the way down this page to here. So I hate that I can't enter in the, those things. But anyway, then there's crochet garments. There's adult wear, children's wear, a purse, adult sportswear, scarves, a collar, and crocheted assemble. Okay, for the adult wear, I, I don't think, guess I have anything really to put into that. Children's wear, I have several um, dresses that I'll probably let you guys help me decide what to enter. I'll just hold up and show y'all. I might have about three or so, four, I don't know. I may have several um, choices for that. And I'll let you guys help me figure that out. And then I do have a crocheted purse, don't I? No, yeah, I think I do have a crocheted purse. Um, but I am wanting to make this crochet purse that Cinnamon Stitches shared the other day. So I might make that. If I make it before the fair, I'd put that one in. And then adult sportswear. I don't even know what that is. Uh, who knows? <laughs> um, a scarf. I do have a, I do have a crocheted scarf. We'll, we'll look at it together and decide. And there's a crochet collar. I did not have that. And a crocheted assemble. I do have a scarf and hat set that could go with that. That's really cute. So, anyway, I'm going to stop there, like telling you the categories, because that's the category I'm focus the section I'm focusing on right now. So, anyway, a crocheted collar. Well, I have something I was going to make for my son, Dakota, anyway. And um, when I saw that, I went to, I immediately went to Bag of Days um, YouTube and searched collar. And she had a lady's collar to come up that is just beautiful. Um, but realistically, I would never wear that. And so it would just kind of be a wasted project. And um, so I wanted to make something that somebody would, you know, actually use and get some use out of, you know. And so she had a, it's a unisex um cowl but she had she had made it her son i mean her husband eric <laughs> uh, modeled it and so it looked really nice and so i had already saw that before and wanted to make that for my son dakota in the past and just never have gotten around to it so i'm doing it now and so here i'll show you what it looks like i'm loving this okay so far this is what i have and i am not a <clears throat> green colored person um that's just not one of my go-to colors i mean it's a pr green is pretty um and i use it i love pink and green together but i'm not like drawn to green but anyway i love this pattern and i will link the pattern in the description box below so you can check us out if you like this and you know somebody who you know you want to make that far but you can see the ribbing there on there um and this is working up just so squishy and so lush that uh, it's nice. It is working up really nice. It is. Um, right now, it's curling. It's curling down right now, but I know it will straighten out and play right in the end. <laughs> and so, I don't know how many rows Crystal went in her pattern. I'd have to look back and see. But um, I'm going to go until my cake runs out for sure. I do have a second of this cake, but I would kind of like to make Dakota a hat that matches this. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'll see how far this cake goes and then see if I need to, need it to add any more. But I'm also going to check and see how many rows Crystal went. Okay, Crystal's video on this is so simple, so easy. She is just such a great teacher and um her patterns are always easy even the patterns that kind of look a little bit complicated you know and look fancier i mean it's it's not just straight double crochet okay <laughs> i mean it is but there's a little trick you do um she just makes it look so easy you know and she always gives me the confidence of like yes i can do that so I appreciate that very much from her. But anyway, I love the way this is working up. And I'm going to show you what the cake looks like. This. Now, this came out of the center. And let me just tell y'all, this is a Karen cake 
right? It is a number four wasted yarn, four yarn, and um, there's 385 yards in this. And of course, this is acrylic. Um, it says 80% acrylic, 20% wool. So this little Karen cake, um, let me just tell you, see that Walmart tag on there? Let me just tell y'all, this is old school prices. $3.97. Wow. They ain't that price anymore. <laughs> That's an old school price for sure, right? I wish. I wish they were still that price. But anyway, I've had this obviously for a while because it was $3.97 when I got this. And I, I believe I do have a second one of these. Um, I didn't double check that, but I, I remember having two of these. Okay, so I would like to eventually make a Dakota a, a hat that goes with this. And so um, if I find the second one, that's what I'll do. If not, I could just, um, I don't know. I could just see what greens and browns I have in regular skeins and kind of put them together and make him a hat. So I'll figure something out. But I may not make the hat just right away because... I'm making things for the fair and I want to enter this in the fair. If I made a hat, I wouldn't be entering that in the fair. So that might be an after fair project. <laughs> but yeah, I am loving how this yarn is just working up. It's just, um, it's just so yummy feeling. It's just squishy and just very delightful. And so as I will tell you this, when I started here, um, you know, my eyesight is not great. And so when I was coming up from that, um, on the set, the first row, you just double crochet. The second row is where you start the pattern. <coughs> the second and third row, I was having trouble seeing, um, where to do this. And so I did have to rip that out a couple of times and go back because I just couldn't see. Um, and if, if I had been using a color color, like green, it might have not have been as complicated for me to see, but um, I, you know, ripped it back and redid what I saw was messed up, and, you know, I had to go rip out a couple rounds, you know, like a whole round, and so, um, but once I got going with it, after the third row, then I could see the stitches and what I needed to do, so it has been easy peasy since then, and it is just delightful, it really is. Um, I think Dakota will love this, and I think um, I think other people in my family will too. <laughs> and um, I, let's see, what did Crystal use? Crystal used a 5.5 hook. I went ahead and went up to a J hook, which is a six millimeter hook. And the reason why I went up to that is because Dakota has a big head. That's just the honest truth. <laughs> He has a big head. He has always had a big head, but it doesn't look like not proportioned to his body. Um, his head, when he was a baby, it looked huge, but he finally grew into that humongous head, and now it looks normal. I mean, you know, he doesn't look like out of proportion or anything, <laughs> but... Um, most people don't realize like the size of his head. When I make hats on like the Addy knitting machine, they, he has trouble wearing them. They are tight, tight, tight. He's like, that gives me a headache just trying it on because it's so tight on his head. When he was a little, little guy, there was a hat he wanted one time from um, Limited in the mall. And so I took him to get that hat. Now the limited in the mall, oh, did I do that right? Limited in the mall, there was um, the limited store and then there was a limited kids or limited two or something like that. And they connected in the middle, but they both opened to the mall. But anyway, I went in there to limited and we were looking for the hat that he was wanting. Uh, it was like a ball cap and it was a particular hat that he wanted. And, um, that we didn't see any, so I was asking the 
guy that worked there, you know, if they had any, were they going to get some more in, or was it a thing of the past, or what was the deal? And he said, um, oh, you need to go over to the kid's store. And I was like, no, um, he wears hats from over here. And he's like, oh, no, we have hats over there for kids. And I was just like, yeah, but they don't fit him. He's like, oh, yes, they will. They're made for kids. And um, he, you know, insisted we follow him over there. And... <laughs> He got a hat and he put it on Dakota's head and it did not fit. So he was like doing that hat out to the biggest, um, you know, he could make it. And then it still just w didn't look like it fit naturally or on his head or anything. And so I was like, yeah, he needs an adult hat. <laughs> so <laughs> he's always wore adult hats when he was a kid. And um, thankfully, he has grown into that head. <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, I'm just working on projects for the fair, trying to bust some out, and um, I'm also working on a Christmas stocking that I was working on last week. I've gotten it to the um, heel section, and so I need to pull the pattern back up and work on that heel, and then I'll be good to go for ever how many rows I need to go going up the leg section of the stocking. So, yeah, um, I, I think my projects are coming along good. I still have, um, you know, the rest of August and all of September to finish up whatever projects. Um, and thankfully, I do have a lot of projects already like, you know, made that I can put in. But then there's a couple, few categories, like I don't really have Christmas items. So I will be focusing on the Christmas section here um, soonish <laughs> and try to, you know, do some of those Christmas projects. Um, let me raise this up a little bit. Okay. So I need to work on some of those projects, but um, yeah. So anyway, in the comments below, you can let me know what you're working on today or let me know if you entered anything into your fair i know a lot of people have already had their fair um ours is coming late it usually comes sometime in september but um i guess it's coming very late early october um this year i i'm just only i'm only going to the fair to drop my projects off and to pick my projects up I don't suppose I'll be going to the fair itself. I haven't been to the fair in quite a few years. Um, last time I went to the fair, my sister and I went, and um, her grown daughters went, and her grandbaby went, and um, my grown kids went. I mean, Dakota, Dakota was grown. Elijah was um, a teenager, I guess probably early teenager so we went together and we had the best time um just watching them all ride and act goofy together me and my sister didn't ride anything but we um you know would sit on the bench and wait and watch them and you know we just have fun being silly and goofy and clowning around and um so that's a really good memory of um, i have of my sister she passed away in 2020 and so I really do miss her um, very much so. We always had a good time together, just laughing the whole time we were together. So that's the last time I went to the fair. We used to take our kids when they were little. Um, and then as they got older, I guess we didn't go so much. I don't know. Um, I guess times changed. Things changed. Priorities changed. I don't know. Um So, um, but when I was a kid, my friend Angela and I went every year. Our parents would, either our parents or either my sister and her boyfriend, they would just drop us off at the front gate. They'd just drive up, pull us out, put us out, and then they'd be back at like 11 or midnight to pick us up. And so... Me and Angela, we talk about that all the time. We have lots of memories of going to the fair and um, just running around like we knew what we were doing. <laughs> um, 
and it was always cold when we would go to the fair, we would have to take a jacket. That's not the case anymore. It's usually hot as hot can be when the fair comes. But anyway, um, and then one time when me and Angela were in junior high, actually we had a, a schoolmate to get murdered at the fair. I mean, like seriously, he was beat up and murdered. You could actually, um, you could probably Google Arklamas Fair, Jimmy Townsend, and, um, it, you know, you could probably find information on that. He was 13 years old, and he got murdered at the fair. Like, he got beat up. And then, um, I think he was, after, he was beat up, and, I don't know, the people ran off, and then somebody else found him. And then he was, um, in the hospital. I mean, I, I guess they... We're trying to save him. I don't know if he was on life support or what, but um, he ended up passing away. So here's the deal. He was only 13 years old, but he had a four-week-old daughter. Yeah. <laughs> he had a four-week-old daughter. And now she's grown. Like, I think she's like 37 now. Is that right? I believe. Because I, I saw an article about this not too long ago. And so she's trying to get his case um, solved. And so that's very interesting. And she said the people, like what I read, uh, she was saying the people who uh, committed this murder would be like 58 years old now or something. So anyway, that's really a shame that that happened. And it did kind of put a damper on the fair, you know, you always think about that when the fair rolls around. I always think about it. My best friend, Angela, and I always bring it up and talk about it every year when the fair rolls in. Um, I never let my kids go by themselves. But you know what? At my, my family, my parents, my mom, Angela's parents, they still let us go to the fair even after that happened. Like... That didn't stop them from putting us out at the front gates and letting them letting us stay unsupervised all night long at the fair. And so me and Angela were talking about that just here recently. Like, how crazy is that, that our families didn't be like, oh, it's not safe for y'all to go anymore? <laughs> I don't know, but it didn't stop them from putting us out. Sometimes my sister and her boyfriend would go, and um, they were there, but we, you know, didn't stay with them. We ran off and did our own thing. Um, but, yeah, we, we just had a good time. Me and Angela did, and that's fond, fond memories of going to the fair for she and I. And um, I remember, like, really, I remember she and I go into the fair more than I remember my kid, you know, taking my kids to the fair. I don't know why that is, but, um, <laughs> I just remember me and her going to the fair and acting silly and running around there like we were, knew what we were doing. Anyway, Angela watches all my videos, so she's watching this. And she also watches all of Terry at Yarn Joy Podcast. She watches all her videos, too. So, anyway. Um, but she's my friend that don't have a crafty bone in her body. <laughs> I always say that about her. And then she said to me that one day, here recently, maybe like a week or two ago or something, I asked her a question like, what should I do about something or um, should I do this or should I do that? And she's like, why are you asking me? I don't have a crafty bone in my body. Because <laughs> I always say that on here about her. And she don't. She don't have a crafty bone in her body. Do you, Angela? <laughs> well, guys, so anyway, this is what I'm working on today and what's running through my head today. Um, I'm excited about entering things in the fair. And, um, uh, you know, if, if my things don't place at all or whatever, I really just enjoy going and seeing what everyone else enters in the fair and seeing all the creativity and what others make and, um, 
you know, just getting inspired from that. So I will be excited to get to go up there and just stroll through. So I will take you with me on the day that we go to enter my projects in the fair, take you through the process and show you what we do. And then we will go back probably like, probably on Tuesday, we will go back and um, look at everything that's entered in the fair and see about um, how I placed, my, how my projects placed and just, you know, seeing that whole convention center room just full of projects. I love that part of the the fair and then I'll have to go back um, the following Sunday I have to go back that day is that the day yeah I have to go back that day to pick up all my fair projects so yeah we'll I'll take you along with me and we'll do all that together that will be a fun little outing and hopefully my son Dakota will come and be the one to take me to the fair because he would be the most helpful <laughs> Other people could probably take me, but they wouldn't be as helpful as Dakota is. So he's got that going for him. <laughs> and he is off on Sundays. The restaurant's closed. So um, he probably would be the one to come and take me to do that. But anyway, guys, yeah, I know. I'm just rambling. <laughs> Please forgive me. Well, I'm going to let you get going for real, so let me know what you're working on. If you entered anything in the fair, has your fair came yet? Do you go to the fair and look at the entries? Or, you know, just tell me what's going on in your life today, and I will see you all later. I'm going to try to use this little pen to mash, to click, touch that thing, because the end of this is um, works on touch screens. But I just dropped my phone Monday, I dropped the phone and shattered the screen, and so it's hard to get this to work. <laughs> I have to find just the right spot to touch in between all the shatteredness. But anyway, I'll see you all again in the next video, whether it be today or tomorrow. Bye, friends. It's a beautiful day to crochet.